you guys can see the clock only has an hour end just an hour end some parts of this church are uh, Norman or well, I think that's what it said in that sign Quite a big graveyard. There's a church. Obviously, because of the virus, we're not allowed just to walk in these places at the moment. But a lot of the churches in England are open for you to just to walk in and have a look around. Hey guys, here we are, episode five of the dice game. Uh, we're in Edenbridge at the moment. There's the church behind me. I think it's St Peter's and St Paul's or something like that. Um, so I'm going to roll the dice, see where we're going to go. I'll give you the six destinations. Um, it's a Sunday at the moment, and it's quite quiet around here. Um, I've only got today to do the dice game, um, and I didn't get out to 11 anyway, because of the uh, getting up late. So I'm going to roll the dice, see where we go next. Hey guys, the six choices are, number one was meant to be Eden Valley Museum, but that's shut on a Sunday. So if one's rolled, we we'll just have a look around the village of Eden, Eden Bridge, sorry. Uh, so number two will be Chartwell, just the gardens are open at the moment. Number three is Emmett's Garden. Number four is Hever Castle Gardens, I think it's just the garden that's open. Number five is Toys Hill. And number six is up in Westerham, I think. It's uh, William Pitt, it's just a blue, a blue plaque on the wall. So we're going to have a look at that. So that's the six choices roll the dice here. It's quite quiet here so I don't mind talking today. I don't know what the lighting's like because the sun's right behind me. Uh, so let's roll the dice. So we've got the dice. Let's give it a roll. On one of these little light boxes. Uh, number five. Oh, as I've done that, the bells are ringing. So I think that's midday now. Let me have a little look. Yeah, it's midday. As I said, it I didn't get out to 11. It took me nearly an hour to get here. So as you saw there guys, we rolled number 5, which was Toys Hill. It's only about 40 minutes up the road. Let's have a quick look around here quickly before we leave. Might be back here later, if we roll number 1, we can do the Eden Bridge tour. So even though all these places um, like, I was coming to Edenbridge area, so I thought I'd come to Edenbridge. I knew there was a cost to here. So I grabbed a quick coffee. And while walking through the uh, little high street area, I took a few clips. You will see them on there. And there's also a little signboard giving you some information about Edenbridge. So that'll be on here anyway. So you will sort of get a little tour. If I, however, roll a one later on and we get Edenbridge, you won't see that till near the end. When we do that as a second destination. If we get to do a second destination, like I said, it's already midday. And Toys Hill, it depends how long it takes to get round. But most of the ones, the choices on this episode were like park areas and walks. I mean, Chartwell and Heaver are on now. Both in places. It looks like you can get in without too much hassle with the booking. And like I said, the museum, I was intending to come on the Saturday, the museum would have been open on the Saturday. But, that's the way life can be sometimes. Anyway guys, church in Edenbridge, car park's just over the back of that wall, free parking. Uh, it's worth coming here, lovely little place to come and visit. It's quite a lot of old buildings down the High Street area. And as you see on that board, if I show you before this or after this, there's quite a lot of history here. Oh, look, a little bird box up in a tree. Right guys, let's go. Toys Hill. I don't know where we can see this guys, because the way the sun is. Just some information on Toys Hill. map 
as well. So here we go, guys. Toys Hill. Just have a quick walk around. That car park back there is crazy. It's just basically park where you can. And people are seriously parking where they can. So I've not given myself a set route. I'm just going to wander. Sometimes it's the best way. Because you find things um, you wouldn't normally see. I am going to go and look at the back, back tower. I've done a video on that before. And the site of the manor. See, look how beautiful this is like this. I picked the first route up. No one else was up this way. We just follow the path around. As you saw as well, it did say about... I mean, I don't know if these were from the Hurricane of 87, but you can see a lot of uprooted trees around. And on that board I showed you at the beginning, it said about how many trees fell then. I mean, this could well be from 1987. They've just left naturally to rot. Yeah, the 87 hurricane, the one the weathermen said wouldn't happen. Look at that view through there, look. Quite glad I picked a, a country park. It's nice to have a stroll. I mean, where I live is quite a built up area. There is places like this around here. Which way should we go? Oh, there's only one way to go. So I'll throw down a hole in the dice game video. I will cut a lot of this, because otherwise it'd be too long. But on the Toys Hill video, which should come after, you'll see a lot more. I'm glad it's dry today. Imagine if it's been muddy. I'll have dirty trainers be slipping everywhere. I think we're going to follow the orange walk this walk down here this Octavia Hill one Octavia is a lady that started a lot of national trust places she lived near here as you saw on that board it said about it and one of the first national trust properties was given by her and I'm sure I've been there but I can't for the life of me remember which one it is it's like a house or something somewhere Oh, what we have here then. Oh, the sun's glaring on that, I can't take a picture. Oh, I finally heard the first voices. That's just like a showing the directions. I don't know if you can see that very well. Sort of my make out the names in the writing in, in the water I mean. It's like a clearing down here. So we're going to the right. I know we're a little bit into the video guys, not much into it, I'm doing well, I'm following the signs. 
usually I say I'm going to take this route and get completely lost. So again, as you might have read on the board, this is an ancient woodland. fenced off there so we obviously can't go wrong here because there's only one way to go. So the um, Salisbury River did. Most places I had to look up before I even left the cathedral and old Sarum. Some videos will be coming up soon. I don't know when. I've got so much backlog of stuff. This dice game uh, took a bit of a toll on the tree then. On my recording schedule, not on my recording schedule, my upload schedule, because I'm doing a Wednesday dice game video, which takes quite a nice big hill, which takes quite a lot of time to edit, cutting it all up and seeing what's going in, what's going out, and then depending on the place I visit, like when I went to Tumbridge Wells, there was three different areas we went to, so that meant there was three videos after. At this moment in time now, because I went away and that, I've only uploaded the two parks and the actual dice game video. So I've still got the High Rocks one to do. And then uh, Salisbury, I'll probably, it's probably about 10 videos I can make out of that stuff. Sorry guys, old fit on man. Had to take my I had a hoodie on, I had to take it off. Getting too hot, too out of breath. So as I was saying, yeah, the Salisbury videos. I've got one of Salisbury Cathedral to do. Old Serum. I went to the uh, Rifles, which was a military museum. I went to Boscombe Down Air Museum. What else did I do? I went to um, an old Prime Minister, Edward Heath, I think it was. His house where the last place we lived before he died. Um, done a little river walk along the River Avon. There's a park that I've done. So, I mean, there's about 10 videos. And my Faro trip that I've done in February, my Lincoln trip that I've done in January, I've only done a couple of videos off them, and they, they too had about 10 videos to go up. So I've got so much. In fact, the Cambridge Castle Man that I just put up, I think I was in Cambridge last September. So that's nearly a year old now. And I've got stuff older than that. So, I think I'm still on the same orange path. There's not been any paths I can really get out. Oh yeah just in it straight up Ding. I've not seen hardly anyone around here. I just saw someone walk past here it's the only person I've seen since I started Do went the other way. So I went back to front cam. Thought you were a bit sick of seeing my face all red and out of breath. This is nice. Sun shining. Lovely Sunday afternoon. I think this might be the site of the manor ahead because I can see some steps. I've been here before. I've done a video on that. Whether I uploaded it or not, I don't know. But it's quite a big building if I remember. But like when we get up there, you will see how big it used to be. So you see the steps just in front of us. My uh, talking body might go right down here if people are up here.
through the stairs. That's okay. Wow. Little heart group down there. Don't know if you saw it all. Don't know if I got it. So steps we come up. Both sets. And what you see around us now is all where the manor was. There's a board here by the looks of it. There's a little thing over there we're going to have a look at. Oh look, it was a massive place. As you guys pause to read. She read your red guys. It was only built in 1906. By the time of the Second World War, basically gone. You can see some outer walls, or maybe some entrances. Down there was what would have been the probably stairs coming up and the lawns that they said about with the stairs coming up. There's a concrete bit just over the back there. They said about look out for the tennis courts. And I don't know if that would have been down there, or maybe over there. So by the looks of that thing, we're probably in where the house was. But I mean, the size of that building, to think that nobody wanted it. Well, it's not just nobody wanted it, as it said, because of the war. You couldn't get the servants. And that, that dog nearly hit that bloke sandwiches. <laughs> so we're going down this way now, guys. I'm going to look at that um, column behind us. Then we're going to go down now. And I think that's the way to the back tower. I'm hoping it is. Again though, as it said on that board, you can see why they built here because of the views. I mean the views are amazing. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a look at this stone monument thing behind this like just around here. We can have a look at that. Then I'm gonna have another quick walk down now just to get some views of the lawn and the views over there as well. Then we come back down, head back down now. But before I do that. I'm going to have five minutes here just to take in this actually quite beautiful place. I can see why they built it here. Look, I changed my mind. We're going to go this way around. We walk around now, have a look at the views, and make our way back. Look at that. Another little bit of wall just over there. I don't know if you can see it. Then we're going to walk down that way. We're going to walk over by the walls. You might see bits of wall in it. This is all the bamboo wall here. So the family behind me, so. That's all that's left in the manor. And that looks like it was the steps coming up to the first lawn and up to the house. That's that art workshop there. Just trying not to get the families in the video.
to be a flood of the ball around. As I said tennis balls, I don't know if they would have been down here or where that concrete was that I said. here so we're on the right track that little orange one you get your burst of when there's a lot of people around you and then times when you're completely on your own I guess which one I prefer <laughs> well to be honest I don't mind when I go to places like London it's obviously really busy. If you see a lot of my London videos, like this looks like the car park, which means we've missed the back tower. Because this looks like the way I started up here. So there's a the cars down now. <sighs> Always away for a minute. I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna stop it, I'm gonna go back, take a look at the map, see which way it is for the back tower, then we'll go and find it. I think we follow the red one, it takes the back tower. This big ditch down here. I think I might have had to come past you now where that rear down manor was. I think I have to go over the other way past there to get to the back tower. Well, that was jumpy there, weren't it? As I was saying the other before I cut it, um, when I'm in London now, it's obviously busy. I don't talk as loud on the videos. Sometimes I don't even talk at all if it's too busy. Um, but when I'm on my own here, I don't feel so silly talking. Just ask them guys where the back tower was. And it is up past the manor, carry on walking up that path. And people did say straight on. To be honest, uh, this dice game does take a lot of time, um, but I enjoy it. I enjoy just getting out, not knowing where I'm going. But the uh, view has not been great. But as I've always said, I'm not in it just for the views. A lot of it's for myself, and if people want to enjoy it, they can. Someone did actually say to me that they noticed with my videos they start off slow like under 50 views for the first couple of weeks or a month and they slowly get views over time which i know is true but like today it's a sunday it's the first day i could get out i wanted to get up at seven and i overlaid and i had a few things I'd sort out before I could 
come out. So I was thinking, should I bother? And even though, do you know what, I don't know if I've gone the right way, because uh, it seems to be going right back on the cells. Yeah, even though, uh, like I say, it's not, not many views on the videos. I know there is a couple of people that do watch them, and have told me they watch them. And uh, I bumped into some last weekend, they know who they are. And they said, are you still doing the dice game? I said, yeah, but I'm just away this weekend. So it'll be back next weekend, which it should be. It should be back on Wednesday. So because a few people do watch them, and I know what people are like because I watch loads of people's videos. I don't always comment in them. So they would never know if I'm watching or not. But I am. There's a couple of YouTubers that I never miss a video. I always watch. And when I come back from weekends away, I go back on my subscription list to the last video that I'd watched. Then go through it all and watch the ones that I want to watch. The guy's 100%. I reckon the back tail is up one of them other ways. Because I haven't got a clue where we're going at the moment. I might have to stop and check out Google Maps and see if I've gone completely in the wrong direction. It's on quite a wide path. This is not a wide path. I reckon when it was that fork in the road and that wide one went to the right, I think I should have gone up there. Although it is nice around here. have a little continue down here for a little way I'll find a bench I'll sit down and look at Google Maps but if it goes too far and there's no bench I'm still going to look at Google Maps just get a rough idea where I am I mean if this loops back round then I'll just carry on walking around here and then come from the other direction but on the map it didn't look like it was too far away from the car park and last time I come here, I looked at the manor and I looked at the back tower and I don't remember walking too far. And I don't remember walking down this kind of place. Well, no, that's a car coming up there. So we might have come right out of the park onto the main road. is not good or it might just be a national trust van or something just doing its maintenance thing no this is um farmland and houses yeah, we've gone the wrong way so we've got to go back up there let me check the maps Yes guys, just check the map. We have gone from one end of the park to the other. So we've got to walk up, so I've kept to my usual. I've got lost. Every time I go to a country park, I take a wrong turn in. So guys, off that big hill, I think we're on track. I've took a side road and I'm sure it takes us back around to the car park but the other way so um, hopefully it takes past a bat tower if not longer video so this is the route we're on now and like I just said whether this is the way or not at least we can see more of the park. If you want to see more of the park. I do. I love this kind of stuff. And on top of that, it's good for fitness. Now why does this look like to me 
back near the car park. If that is the car park, it means a bat tail is up through there somewhere. And we've done a complete loop of the park. So I can hear the main road. And that's a... It's never bleeding my hair. So it's got to be up through there. Do I go around the road and get in back again? Or do I just cut through? Let's cut through. Do you reckon we can just walk through the woods? Or do you reckon we get dead ends? Or ditches so that we can't get up the other side? Let's see if we can cut through and find some pathways. Yeah, maybe this might not be a good idea. I know there's sort of path here, but... Oh, there's someone walking there. Sorry if that's a trail there. Oh, look how nice this looks. There's a trail there, but I'm sure that's the one that I walked down. Let's go have a look anyway. Do I rename this video in search of the elusive bat tower? I did say though that I remember the bat tower being on a wider road and we've not been on any wider roads. So I'm sure that does look like the car park through there. Might not be. I didn't come this way down by the way. So we're going somewhere new. I think that's it. I think we found a bat tower and a dog. It looks like it wants to come see me. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, here's a bat tail, guys. And a friendly dog. So I was completely wrong. It wasn't on a wide road. Hey guys. I'm so glad I didn't walk up that road to come back round on myself. As usual, guys, pause to read. Looks like on this illustration it's saying the windows are blocked up, but I'm sure there was a, a cage bit I looked through last time. Let's have a little walk around it. This says red. Take some bats. So I don't think it will be no way to see in it. Obviously you get them horrible people that like to break into places like this. Ventilation blocks. Come around the other side. So there's another one but bricked up there. I bet you guys are like, what, well, we've been searching around all this part of there, there's a bit of griddle there we can have a look through. So you guys are thinking we've been all the way around here, just so you can show us a tower with nothing in it. But it's history guys. 
if I remember right, you can just sort of see yeah, look, down there, look. It's very quiet in there. Although I'd absolutely shit myself if one flew out of me now. So that was a bat tail, guys. Like I said, I've done a video on this before. So I'll link it. Although, I'm not sure it's much more than what I'm showing you now. The outside and the board. And it's an older video. So I definitely wouldn't have been talking much in it. So there's the grid we just looked through. Just here. You can see what it's like inside. The back tower. So it's back to the car park, guys. It is now 20 to 2. So I will roll and see if we can get somewhere else. However, if it lands on Heaver Castle or Chartwell, we may not get in. So we might have to re-roll, which will be not very good, because we've never had to do that. So guys, we finished uh, Toys Hill. It's a nice walk, long walk. Kept getting lost. So now we're gonna roll the dice for the next six choices, which are number one, should have been Eden Valley Museum, but it'd just be Eden Bridge now. Number two, well, two, three, and four is if we can get in because they're, they're all open, but they're book tickets in advance or time. So number two would be Chartwell Gardens. Number three was uh, Emmett's Garden, which is just just up the road from here. Number four, Heaver Castle Gardens. Number five will be the William Pitt Blue Plaque in Westerham. And number six now is going to be is it Boar Beach or Borough Beach Reservoir, which is just another walk around. Let's roll the dice. Around here. Cool. So, guys, as you saw, we got number four, which was Heaver Castle Gardens. I believe the castle itself is open, but you can't book the ticket like that. You've got to um, go to the gardens, then you can book a ticket there for the um, castle itself. So, we might not get time to do that. Um, but I booked for the castle gardens, which was 15 99 something like that. 11.99 something like that um i can't get in there till quarter to three though it's now just gone two it's probably a five minute walk back to the car and it's about 15 minute drive from here to heaver so we might have a look on there on the way up see if we can get something to eat or a drink or something so heaver castle gardens maybe the castle um there was a slot for between quarter past two and 2.30 I think, or 2 and 2.30. I was a bit worried that, obviously because I had to book, book online, you can't just go there and book, you have to book online. So I had to do it on my phone, with my card. I was a bit worried that mucking about doing that, um, and getting back to the car and driving there, I might not have got it all done before my time slot. I think they give you 10 minutes grace either way, but I didn't want to risk it. And the next slot, between, oh they are quarter hour slots because the next one was half past two, quarter two, they were all gone, all sold out. So the next one after that was the quarter two, the quarter to three, three o'clock one, it's the one I've booked. So we go and do that. Um, obviously the maze is there, and there's something else there, but they did say that the queue times could be up to an hour to get into the entrance because obviously social distancing, they've only lit so many at a time. So we'll just go there, see what we can do. Now we're just walking back to the car. So, next time you see me, we'll be at the second destination, Heaver Castle Gardens. <laughs> so guys, just got to Heaver. It is actually quite busy. Um, it's 2.30. My lady in at quarter two, I just spoke to the steward that was doing the car park. I said I'm a bit early. He said, I've just walked down. He said, time to get down there and that, that'll probably let you in. So I'm going to flip the camera around so you can see the lake. There's a lake over there. All people inside. Like I said, it's quite busy. So that just shows my uh, booking reference to ladies. They're not giving out any tickets, I think. So once you're in, you're in. Um, 
Apparently the castle is open, you just have to queue up and pay for it there. But she said not to leave it too long because the queues are massive. Don't know if this is a pavilion. I wanted to go to the pavilion to get a coffee for a while. I don't know if this is it here. I oh, know, this is going to be over here. It's just people, I think that's just hiring boats there. So, yeah, there's toilets and pavilion here. So, let's go and get coffee. There is sitting at the bottom, but I decided to come outside. Got my muffin and mocha. So I'm sitting there five minutes here. And I'm going to walk around. So you have to wear your mask inside, obviously. And there's uh, little gel things you can use. So, time for coffee. I said my um, muffin and mocha. And to be honest, most places come like this. They're not that great. The mocha's really nice, and the muffin's really moist and nice. It does that's homemade. So it looks like it's a one-way system on show. Well, that doesn't say anything here, so we have a look around here quickly. This is a rose garden. Really nice walled rose garden. This is still being here. That's back to the restaurant there. I'm sure they said a one way system, but I can't see any markets. Make you bump. Collins in the Rose Garden. Just notice the arrows there, saying there is like a one way system. So we're going to go back along the way we've come. We'll go around that way. Let's have a look up here. Everyone else seems to be going the other way. This looks like where they do events and that. This little stage there with a seating area. Local saying over, we're going to have a quick look. A little look at this. Can't get down No stopping on this bridge, I've just stopped. <sighs> so 
Let's have a look at the tow brief first. So this is usually the way in. I got the staff member walking the wrong way. Bless her. Oh, maybe a mouse or a mole or something. We do this side and we spin around and do the other side. So it's like a, what, a snail or a beetle. There's some swans down there. Look at the swans. Some more of these, like a deer there. Is that a tortoise? Pig. What I might do is I might join that queue for the castle, see how quick it moves. It's quite quick, I'll stay. If not, I'll leave it and go and look at the gardens. It's like a little orchard there, some beehives in there. So it is about an hour wait from here. I'm going to wait because he said if I don't go in now, I probably won't be able to get in because after about four they stop people joining the queue. But you go in here and I'm sure there's a courtyard the other side there, so you've got to probably queue around now in social distancing. So, but when we get just to there where the people are, we get an audio guide so we can start listening to it from there. So I, I'll just listen to that as I'm waiting and I'll know some of the things as I go around. But I'm here now and I might as well pay for it now. It's only an extra three quid. If I come here again, I'm going to have to pay the £15 again to get into the area. Then another £3 for the castle anyway. So I might as well do it today. There's some big fish in there. So we're inside Eva Castle now. This is the drawing room. There's Amberlin. That bit down was a priest hole and there's rumour that a priest died in there and his spirit still haunts the place. I, I pointed it and then told you because I didn't want to uh, talk with them people there. Go uh, away, yeah. Refractory table. 1565 and these are the uh, postillion boots this is what the riders used to wear when they used to take two horses together they're made of leather and iron so the leg that went between the two horses wore this boot and that way they didn't get squashed when the horses collided I might tell you on here actually
There we are, but I'm making it up. See three there. If that's all Lovely view out there. If you want to. The lake. Do you know this was definitely a bedroom? Don't know, no. It's likely it wasn't because yeah. it's a servant's corridor. Right. But Astor thought it was. And yeah. He owned the place, so it was. So it but seems it was, a bit small, that's why I thought. So. Yeah, well, I, I mean, the room's been chopped, chopped around a lot. Anyway, all right. As all houses are. You, know, you think yeah. oh, that's so chewed and rip it out. Um, could you just hang on for a bit, please? Yeah. <laughs> and. Um, no, you, sorry, you are of course a couple, so you count as one. Yeah. <laughs> and um, so it's fine, come um, But this was Gavin Astor's bedroom in the late 60s and early yeah. 70s because he had um, been flooded out of there. Yeah. But as for Anne, I doubt it. Yeah. It's a nice room still. Have a bit of a wait, I'm sorry, I'll wait in the, the doorway. The room is a four person room. And uh, as in whether they count as one or two, I know that there yeah. are three people in, in I'll wait, there now. I'll wait in that gap there. If you are two people, are you three? Yeah. Oh, you count as one. <laughs> well, it's full of four or five people, so <clears throat> for COVID purposes. <laughs> as you already bloke, have we got to wait here for a minute? <laughs> and as you heard that, Amberlin's <laughs> bedroom <laughs> isn't Amberlin's <laughs> bedroom. But, Got to wait here at the moment. This is a room where it's got the, the books, one of which Anne Boleyn was meant to have taken to the um, gallows with her. Well, not gallows, we just got her head cut off. Just got to wait here. It's only, uh, only four allowed in here. There's four in here at the moment. He and his family were living in I don't know if you can read that. It's a book of hours. Tell you there. She's inscribed as well. Tapestry of Anne Boleyn's sister, and Anne Boleyn was the like the maid of honor. She was 13 at the time. They're not sure which of these she was, though. But here's the, the Book of Hours, like it says there. She was meant to have taken this when she was beheaded, she was meant to have taken it with her. She took it into the tower. Thank you very much. This is the Dom Gallery. It's got little curtains obviously to cover them up, stop them being aged. It's like this one's 1618. It's King of England. Three, one, too many. Mm -hmm. I said we can't go 
Yeah, Mary. Bit of a field. Yeah. King Henry the Eighth. Catherine of Aragon. There you be just saying when we get down now. That suit of Armadale. It's worth yeah. valued at a million pounds. She just told me that it's valued at a million pounds. This is a suit. Uh, so French 16th century. This is for the portcullis. <laughs> Toilet. <laughs> this is a bit we come across. <laughs> this is where we are now. This way it comes down. I'm going to read that quickly. Got to wait anyway. There's a queue. A man trap. Come through just like some shackles, swords, that's what they use for beheading. Most of them are German. One, neck collars. That's the beheading axe there. Another one now. Got a hand press there, hand screw, thumb press, hand presses, pause. This so guy's out with the castle done. Let's go around here and get a better view. I need to find something sick because I think my shoelace is undone. So that's all the new buildings. I think that's what they were saying about on the Oreo tour. That when it was the, I don't know if it's the Astors or something, built loads of more houses at the back, joined it onto the castle for staff and that. There's a the castle. We had a quick tour. Don't know if you heard me properly. I mumbled a lot, I think, because uh, cause it was, you know, the thing on. So it's Tudor Garden now. Oh, you made it shut. You can't do it anyway. This is the Tudor Garden. The Tudor Knot Garden. Let's go around this way. So it's about five o'clock now. So it's nearly an hour queuing. I mean, it probably took about 30 minutes, 40 minutes to walk around. So now we're just going to do the rest of the gardens here. This bit's called the Tudor chest set. See them up there? King and Queen in the middle. Knights there. Looks good, doesn't it? Someone left their bottle there. So these are herbs for physics. These herbs are for decking. But it will sit here, take a picture. Quite refreshing. A little bird around the fence there, a little wagtail. So we've got to go around this way now. I think it's what they call the Italian garden. So this is the Italian garden. And there's a bit over there. Where should we go first? Let's go through the Italian garden see over here. Created between 1904 and 1908. 1908. A 
was reading that some of these, I don't know which ones, but some of these columns and statues are actually from Rome and are from the Roman period. And apparently he was the American ambassador to Italy or something at one point. And that's how he managed to get a lot of them. So I don't know which ones are. You know, you don't know, I mean, they could be really old. Just look at that. It's beautiful. Beautiful. That is all a little bit stuck away in the corner there. I don't know why this reminds me of the line the witch in the wardrobe. You know the big slab they put Aslan on at the end. I used to love that story. See the way that column is just in the centre of the garden. It obviously means something, so I don't know if it's old. I mean, why would you use that as a centrepiece of a garden if it didn't mean something? See, and this up here, look. Looks like it was a part of a doorway or something like that. Or a villa. Or something. So here's the lake. It looks like there's a coffee shop here because it's all seating here. It's lovely, isn't it? What's this? So all the boats are closed off now. So the car park's just up there. That's a restaurant area we went to at the start. There's ducks and the rest. I'm glad I've left this bit to now, this late, because there's no one here. I mean, this place is absolutely fantastic. Look at it. See, over there, I don't know if you can see, just, just there, is a Japanese tea house. Um, I've done it in another video, but when you go there, I've just saw some more people. When you go there, you can't go in there. It's just like a pavilion shut up. Look at that. Beautiful. Feed the duck. All these boats named after people that have to do with this castle. Well, no, people of England, I'll say, because I don't think Bodicea was in, or Boudicca, however you say. It is Boudicca, not Bodicea. But I didn't realise, it's not just rowing boats, I only saw rowing boats out, but there's actually pedlos there as well. A big boat there, looks like it's a little tour boat. I don't know, it looks like a crossing boat. Duck's rolling away from me. She's got Catherine of Aragon, Lady Esther, Nancy Esther, Churchill, which is quite funny because there's a thing between Churchill and Nancy Esther. 
that she said to Winston, if you was my husband, I'd poison you. And Churchill turned to her and said, if you was my wife, I'd drink it. I think that's how it goes, something like that. So this weird them two being together. Got Catherine Parr there, Anna Cleves, Catherine Howard, the Mary Rose, the flagship of King Henry VIII, Lady Hamilton. So guys, it's Italian guy behind me. We finished the video for now. I was going to roll the dice down here, but guess what? My information's in the car, so I'm walk up, back up to the car park now and get in the car. And then we'll uh, do it there. I might have to leave the grounds uh, because it's closing soon and roll it in the country lane somewhere. But from Hever Castle, just sort of see some of Hever Castle. There's a boat and thing there. Hope you enjoyed the video. Okay, guys, so I've left uh, Hever Castle. Um, they was closing up, so I couldn't stay there and roll the dice. Um, started to drive towards home um, I'm just outside Chipstead found a little green that I can park on so I'm just trying to get the dice out so I'm going to roll the dice here um, six places we got next are number one's going to be Seven Oaks just down the road number two Tunbridge number three West Malden Root and White number four uh, Ainsford Swanley that area number five Chiddingston and number six, Gravesend. So I'm just going to roll the dice on the grass here and we'll see where we're going. I think I've rolled the dice, guys. This is where we are. I think it's called Bezels Green or something like that. It's just like outside Chipstead, like I said, just near uh, Seven Oaks area. I'm just going to roll the dice down here then. Let's do it on this bit of concrete. Number three. Number three was West Maulin Rutan Way. So that's where we'll be next week. Um, I think I've got six places for that. I'm not 100% sure. So that's the end of Dice Game episode five. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, I did. I enjoyed the walking Toys Hill and I enjoyed Hever Castle, especially the actual getting to go in a castle and the Italian garden I really enjoyed as well. Um, cut it a bit fine for time. I mean, it was just closing up. I mean, we did, there were a few bits we didn't get to see. Um, but I'm sure I've done a video on them before, so there might be on another video on my list. If not, I'd have footage of it somewhere anyway that I haven't uploaded yet. So I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Uh, like if you want to. Subscribe if you want to. Um, I think I'm about 200 away from that thousand subscriber mark. I think I've got 850, something like that. So it's slowly getting now. Slowly but surely. So, from somewhere just outside Chipstead, See you later, guys.